Hi guys, there's been some, I don't know, development on the 60 frames per second issue. So I thought I would test the waters once more. I'm just uh, goofing off with a little Payday 2. Um, and, and I've set it up this time to V-Sync on my recording device so that I don't get any screen tearing at 60 frames a second. It's going to affect my gameplay a little actually because I'm used to playing this at 144 frames a second with G-Sync. But we will see how it goes. Um, right, so the developments are pretty much that a lot of the concerns I had with the, the 60 frames a second videos have been kind of fixed. The first one, and probably the most important one, is that we seem to have 1080p and 720p on the videos on Firefox and Internet Explorer. So this means even if you have even if you have a browser that cannot support 60 frames a second, you will still be able to uh, view the video at 30 frames a second, which is, you know, not as good as 60 frames a second, but it's better than nothing, right? And it means I don't have to upload two versions, 130 and 160. The second thing that it seems to have fixed is the slowdown and stutter that I seem to notice in the first few seconds of a, of a video. So for the first, I don't know, even sometimes about a minute, I was noticing that the video seemed to stutter, and it doesn't seem to anymore. Now, I thought that was a problem with the player at my end. But if it's fixed, that would suggest, because I've not updated anything, that YouTube have tweaked something. And the fact that they're now showing the 30 frames a second when your browser doesn't support 60, well, that's definitely YouTube, and that's a really good um, solution. That is a really good solution, I think. They're just offering all the different frame rates um, and depending on your browser it will show them. So of course this means I could theoretically start to record my let's plays at 60 frames a second and upload them just one video and everyone will be able to watch all of my videos and those of you that are using a browser that is enabled for 60 frames a second will get that advantage those of you that don't can still watch the videos so, that is basically what this video is. Partly it's a test of the 60 frames a second when I upload now, but also a way of getting your opinion. He said hydrogen, right? Muriatic acid. Right, come on guys, to the basement. To the basement. We're camping in the basement. Anyway, so try and leave comments down below. Is this video watchable for you on your browser? This is obviously not really aimed at the Chrome users because, of course, you could watch it on 60 frames a second. But for those of you that can't, can you still watch it at 1080p? Can you watch it at 720p, even if it's at 30 frames a second? Because if so, I may, I may start recording in 60 frames a second on a regular basis. Um, and let's just hope that these other browsers start supporting 60 frames a second pretty soon. And it is is—it is just a matter of that. It is not that YouTube are blocking 60 frames a second for everything except Chrome. It is purely and simply that the browsers don't support it yet. Um, I seem to have an invisible wall here. I'm stuck. Brilliant. Um, tell you what. Let's see if a grenade fixes it. Once... Once the different browsers start supporting it, I think all of you will be able to watch 60 frames a second. But in the meantime, as long as you can watch it on 1080p and 720p at 30 frames a second as well, problem solved, really, I think. So, yeah, leave me some feedback down below. Tell me whether the video was acceptable and uh, and tell me if it wasn't. I mean, really, I'm, I'm, I'm more looking for how many people have still got issues with a 60 frame per second video like this. So, there you go. Comment section down below. Now I've got to figure out how the hell to get out of here. Which apparently isn't going to happen because... Well, that's a first. 
one little thing I'd like to add that's kind of unrelated to the 60 frames a second is if you are wondering why I was moving so fast, or perhaps you were even thinking the video was sped up, because I do realize doing a 60 frames a second video, some people might think, oh my god, no, no, something's wrong. It's, it's playing too fast. You were zipping around all the time. Um, yeah, no, that's how fast I actually move in game. Um, I probably should have picked a slower build. Almost certainly. I should almost certainly have picked a slower build. Let me mute that. Um, and a bit <laughs> because that is probably going to lead people to think there's some problem with the video. No, this is actually how fast I move in game with this build. Um, the build I'm using is really, it's a pure agility build, so to speak. I'm wearing no armor whatsoever. I'm relying on a suit and I'm dodging rather than absorbing damage. And I, my, my current build is pretty high level and I have all the speed enhancing perks, every single one of them. Um, including the one where if I actually take a hostage, I'd move 10% faster as well. So I'm built for speed uh, rather than uh, tanking. And yes, this is actually how fast I play in game, at least with this build. I have to say, I don't notice it when I'm playing. When I'm playing and I'm just, I'm there, I'm not really seeing it. But when I watch it as a spectator, it does look a little insanely fast. It does look insanely fast. Uh, this is the sort of build, though, when I th think about it, that is perfect for testing 60 frames a second because I move so fast that 30 frames a second would probably be horrible. Um, so there you go. So if you were wondering whether there was a problem with the video because it was moving so fast, no, this is just the, the particular set of skills and the equipment I'm using. So there you go. <laughs> uh, hope that helped.